Hello and welcome back to the Brick Den. Today I have the first update for my all new big project, Scarif from Rogue One. Don't worry, a mock showcase for Utapau is definitely still coming out, so stay tuned for that. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to be opening two Bricklink orders for this mock, but firstly, we're going to look at what I've built so far. This mock is actually the biggest thing I've built since Starkiller Base, which was nearly a year ago now, and is actually the exact same size as that mock. Which is good in one way, because once it's finished, it's hopefully going to be really impressive, but on the other hand, building a bigger mock with lots of individual elements makes it much more challenging, because you never know if a brick you're using early on will be needed later, because when I build bigger mocks, it really does drain my parts, so I have to be very cautious. At the front of the mock, there is a medium-sized landing pad that will be fully tiled and have a number of crates scattered around it when it's finished. Then on the landing pad, there is the rail speeder station, which is predominantly finished, except for some detailing on the back that I still need to do. I'm extremely happy with this rail speeder station. The shaping was quite a challenge, but I wanted to make it as accurate and authentic as possible. To access the interior, this part of the roof is easily removable. Inside there is just some wall detailing that is also very accurate to the film. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to include any sort of door. I tried, but I really didn't want to sacrifice the appearance. The rail speeder station then connects the track. I do though still need to build the actual rail speeder and detail the track a bit more, which will lead to the citadel tower at the back. I'm not going to start building this section until the end. Now you can probably tell from the area at the back the tower is definitely not going to be minifigure scale unfortunately. It certainly will be by far the largest thing on the mock and will include an interior with key rooms from the film. Even though it won't be minifigure scale I wanted to include it as the mock without it would have had no centrepiece and the tower is also a very important part of Scarif. Moving back down to the right of the rail speeder station, there is an opening for a rebel U-wing to land and also a beach section behind it. This section and the left hand section of the mock are going to be littered with palm trees as I want this mock to be the Scarif jungle and not so much the Scarif beach. So also on the right hand side there is going to be the section of, of the jungle where the trees are ordered in rows. Something similar can be seen in the film and the shot I think is also in the trailer. Then moving over to the left hand side you can see a bridge which will cross over a really dense part of the jungle. This was inspired by the Scarif maps from Star Wars Battlefront. But there is also a small mud path as well which will cut through the jungle in this section over here. The bridge also crosses over a small stream that runs through the, this part of the mock. The bridge then ends up at the landing pad where I'm going to have a custom Imperial cargo shuttle as well, which I'll build very soon. That's all the progress I've made so far to Scarif, so now moving on to the Bricklinks. So here is the first Bricklink. Now it's quite a lot smaller than the second one, but both of them did come from Europe, which meant they are a little bit more expensive and do take a little bit longer to come. But still, I needed to get the bricks for Scarif. Now in this first one, you can see I got a couple of orange parts for the rail speeder, and some crates and things like that but then the main thing was these shrub pieces which I got 40 of. Now I forgot that they actually came in this netting, I haven't had any for ages. The next here is the main bricklink order for this mock. Now this was I think the biggest bricklink I've ever had, I'm not sure but it definitely is one of the biggest. And taking it out of the box it definitely looks like it. So one of the main parts I got were these one by one brown cones which are going to be very important for the palm trees then some 2x2 two two orange tiles and then some wedge plates. Now these are going to be used for the satellite dish and some other t details for the tower and then lots more orange pieces like these slopes, inverted slopes, these 1x4 tiles which are all going to be used for the rail speeder crates and other details scattered around Scarif. And then the main thing was all of these leaves which I got absolutely loads of for all of the palm trees and then last but not least these 1x2 tan tiles for the extra details on the beach. So that's it for this Bricklink now, it's definitely not the biggest Bricklink ever but it certainly is my biggest Bricklink and I'm very happy with it, it's going to help a lot with Scarif. So that brings this video to a close, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and comment. You can also check out rebelug.com and the Rebelug YouTube channel and also the Brick Den's Instagram account. 
But for now, if you don't want to miss the next update, you can subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when a new video comes out. Thank you so much for watching.